welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.45 of chapter 4 and the statement of it is find the covariance of the random variables x and y of exercise 3.49 on page 106 okay and this question 3.49 has also been pasted here and the statement of that question was basically let x denote the number of times a certain numerical control machine will malfunction one two or three times on any given day let y denote the number of times a technician is called on an emergency call their joint probability distribution is given as this table okay this is the table and i will also put a link of this question in the description box and the video card will also be pasted here as well okay so this is what we have in order to find the covariance matrix of it what do we have to do this is the solution and the covariance of it is what that is sigma xy and it is expected value of xy minus mu of x and mu of y okay so this is the formula which we have to apply here okay while finding this mu x mu y we must have the marginal distribution of x and y as well which we have already found out okay which was basically the solution of question 3.49 so let us move to that question and see that how can we find out mu x and mu y so let us go to that question so this was basically question 3.49 and here we have already found out the marginal distribution for x and for y as well okay and here in order to find the value of mu of x what do we have to do let us choose this color so mu of x here would be what we have to multiply these values okay and then add them together okay so multiplying this one with 0 0.10 we will get 0 0.10 okay two multiplied by 0 0.35 this would be 0 0.70 okay this is here okay and also three multiplied by 0 0.55 so this would be what one point six five okay so the answer of it would be two point four five okay so this is for mu of x also finding the value for mu of y here it would be what multiplying it then this then this okay so one multiplied by zero point two zero okay so it is here also three multiplied by zero point five is one point five this is here and the last one is 5 multiplied by 0 0.3 so it is also 1.5 okay this is here as well so finding it out what would we get here it would be 3.20 okay so uh, mu of x let me write them here mu of x is what this is 2.45 and mu of y is 3.20 zero so these two quantities have been found out so let us move to our question okay so the values of mu of x and mu of y has been known so the mu of x is 2.45 mu of y is 3.20 okay so these are known but we don't know the value of e of x y so let me find it out so e of x y would be what it would be x y okay x y and f of x y okay so let me write all these values for x y and f of x y so for one one when x is one y is one what it would be so it would be one multiplied by one and it would be f one one so f one one is 0 0.05 okay so let me write it directly here so it would be 0 0.05 okay with it i have to multiply and add this value so it would be 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 0 0.05 okay now this value so it would be 3 multiplied by 1 which is the value of y here 
and with that they say 0 0.10 okay also now this value so here x is 1 y is 3 and with that 0 0.05 which is the value here which is fx of y similarly with the other one i will have 2 multiplied by 3 2 multiplied by 3 with it i have to multiply 0 0.10 okay and this one is now here which is 0 0.35 so it is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 0 0.35 okay then now this one so 1 multiplied by 5 and multiplied by 0 1 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 0 plus 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 0 0.2 okay and the last one is 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 0 0.10 okay so at the end adding them all together what will be the answer the answer of it is 7.85 okay so now taking these values and putting them in uh, formula a so it would be sigma x y so it would be the 7.85 minus mu x which is 2.45 multiplied by 3.20 okay so it would be 7.85 minus 7.84 so the answer of it would be 0 0.01 and that is what that is basically the solution of question 4.45 in which you have seen that how to find out the values of the covariance okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 4.45 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon